Hello guys, it's been a while. I'm trying to get into this YouTube video making stuff more. Um, I hope you guys can hear me well. Um, I did like dip my phone into ice cream one of these days. <laughs> so yeah, like, you know, um, it's gonna be a little bit, a little bit, you know, weird. Maybe the sound is gonna be weird, but I hope, yeah, I hope it's not like damaged or you guys can hear me like completely fine or whatever. So I'm gonna try to see how these videos come out. <laughs> so yeah, just be careful, guys. Like I don't, I don't even think I'm ever gonna buy ice cream again. Like I'm lactose intolerant apparently. So like completely, like I'm gonna have an explosion if I'm like eating ice cream. But moving on. <clears throat> Hold on, let me check something. Let me check. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Um. So I'm gonna make these more like um, story time gameplay type videos. So it's always gonna be like a story time uh, type gameplay video because I'm still trying to figure out what my content is gonna be. Like a lot of people want me to be making like, um, you know, like freaking YouTube poops and parodies and other people want me to be making like uh, conspiracy type videos. And I'm a fan of conspiracies. You guys know me. You guys know I love a little conspiracy here and there. So we're going to get more into that. If you guys want to, you know, be into that, that's what I'm going to be doing. And hopefully I don't get uh, in trouble for it. But whatever, you know. Uh, we're going to be doing more conspiracies too. For those of you who like it. But I'm thinking about, like, making a second channel and moving all the, like all the copyright claimed videos like into that channel because i did put like a lot of work into the copyrighted videos that i have and i think they like they deserve to be viewed at least even if i'm not gonna get any like what do you call it like revenue from it so i'm just trying to do my own thing as you know apart from the copyright claimed videos and this and that you know i have plans you know i got my little plans Plus, you know, I think, you know, this channel right here, it has a lot of different uh, content, a lot of different topics and themes. Like, that that's what this channel was for in the beginning. It was to be just, just, you know, anything I wanted. Basically, it was more like a channel for for anything. That's what I called it at first, you know. I, I told y'all, I'm, I'm like, hey, dude, this channel is going to be more like for anything and anything I want to share with you guys. Like, that's what I'm here for. I'm here for your entertainment. I'm here to, like, reshare and repost stuff and, you know, make parodies and whatever else. But now I'm trying to be, like, more serious about it and see, like, how I can benefit too, you know? That's what everybody wants, so. I don't know. I'm just looking into things, and I think separating this channel into two will be, like, the best option. So, anyway, if you guys want to check out some of my art... That's another thing I wanted to talk about too. I'm gonna leave my website up here. It's gonna be in the description. I'm gonna leave like a little picture over here so you guys know where to go. I make some art here and there. When I have time, obviously, like sometimes I don't even have time. I do work my regular nine to five job and that's just how it's been like all my life. So, you know, moving from being a worker, slave, a bot job person <laughs> to into becoming more like a internet type nerd person, you know, it's it's a whole different transfer like you know i've been whoa dude you see my gameplays are fun and i have two pets now look at my two pets they're killing him killing the tiger hey you almost died anyway i'll talk about the gameplay and stuff too like i want to get into all of that stuff too you know anyway so yeah what was i saying I was saying, uh, go check out my art page. I have made art. Like, I make, like, digital type art when I have time, of course, when I'm not busy working my 9 to 5 type job. And a lot of y'all know that <laughs> I did uh, lose my job previously, like, maybe about <clears throat> two weeks ago. So I have been dealing with a lot of, like, interviews and dealing with a lot of, like, bills that have not, like, that have just gotten in the way. So, you know, I'm just dealing with a lot of stuff. A lot, a lot of regular person stuff as of the meantime you know a lot of family stuff i gotta get to as well so it is what it is i'm trying to manage it all at once like you know that's the life of the worker slave bot but i will be you know soon enough um turning splitting my channel into two 
so this will be my main channel and the second channel will be stuff will have all the stuff that has you know copyright stuff and stuff that isn't mine but that i still want up there for y'all to enjoy <clears throat> anyway um so yeah i'm gonna leave my art page up here and uh, you know in case you don't want to click any links it's just emmy wolf it's the same username i have for my youtube easy peasy just the same username e m uh what is it two y's <laughs> i don't even know my own user <laughs> i mean <laughs> it's e m two y's and wolf easy peasy right emmy wolf repeat after me emmy wolf <laughs> but yeah guys that's my uh my art page as well so it's it's emmy wolf i also have a tumblr i don't really use it that much but i do check it from time to time so if you guys want you can go onto the tumblr that i have and ask me questions you guys can ask me questions i do want to change like how my youtube page looks like i mean tumblr my how my tumblr page looks it looks a little bit weird like i don't i don't know i think i need to change it but you guys can go over there and ask me stuff and i'll hopefully i'll answer it <laughs> um anyway moving on um today in this video aside from all of that uh update that i wanted to update y'all on aside from the update uh today we're gonna do a story time oh yes this is one of those story times and i believe this will be the last you know <laughs> adult type story time that i'll make um so brace yourselves guys because this is another one of those type story times and i will talk about the gameplay i'm doing here as well this is one of my favorite games if you don't like it you can click off the door is right there but let's get into the story time um i think i did update uh, all of y'all into everything you needed to know so talking about the story time and about this gameplay right here let me get into the gameplay first um if you guys like if i do a lot of ums and if i like cut myself off a lot is because i'm currently at work <laughs> doing this so you know let's i'm trying to trying to keep it on the down low so <laughs> you know i don't want my boss to pass by and be like ah you and your phone well my bosses aren't that straight but you know they can be <laughs> so let's get into the gameplay first um here on my gameplay i haven't really been like making gameplay videos but i have continued this game and let me tell y'all i upgraded myself i upgraded my dragons my little buddies this one right here on the right is a uh basilisk his he was a basilisk well he's the baby of a basilisk but he's my pet now and i named him basil <laughs> And we have Spiral on our left. He is in level 5. Basil is level 4. And the way I uh, upgrade these guys is simply by making them fight little baby monsters. And continue to fight them. And I just make this arena where they can like continue to fight these tiny little monsters that won't actually like kill them. <laughs> so that's basically how you upgrade these guys. When I used to play this game back in the good old days. <laughs> um, I kind of hacked the game. So I would literally just go into the file of the gameplay and literally just hack it and make these guys level 100 level, super level. <laughs> like these guys were huge. So, but now I'm slowly and surely like upgrading them, which sucks. I wish I could like hack the game in Apple, like in iOS, but I can't, like that's not possible. You can literally only like hack it on Samsung and tablet type devices otherwise you're just gonna have to just play the actual game <laughs> you actually have to put work into the game so you know it's none of that hacking stuff anymore i wish like i seriously wish i wish i could just go into the file and make you know spiral level 40 level 200 level superman type level <laughs> you know but that's not the case so we're actually like upgrading these guys and naturally like one would say but that's the story of how to have how to upgrade i mean that's the secret of how to naturally upgrade these guys so <clears throat> moving on me the way to upgrade myself in the game is to basically do what i'm doing right now 
So as you can see, my levels are right there on the top left hand corner. Uh, it's gonna be like this green level looking type thing and you just have to continue to build and destroy. And the, the easiest thing to like build and destroy is sand. Like look at this. This right here, I'm kind of remodeling my own area, but this right here is, is what's gonna level you up like, like really fast, really, really fast, you know? Here we go. It's increasing. Mm -mm. I don't wanna get in trouble. Just saying. So you just do this and your levels will increase. Or you can start like building stuff and your levels will increase. You know, building stuff works too. Here we go. I'm just remodeling some of this a little bit. Just a little bit. You know what I'm saying. You know what I mean. Here we go, here we go. And that's the that's basically how you um, how you upgrade your own self. Once you upgrade yourself, you could just uh, use your points acquired on that little button up there on the top right hand corner. It looks like someone making a fist. It looks like a person making a fist. And that's basically your um, your skills, your skill set. So let me open this up. It says skills and you will obtain one or one or two of these and you can upgrade these. You could also buy it. You see how I have like $42. Well, not dollars, but 42 like diamonds and i'll use the 42 i have to upgrade myself uh, you can upgrade all, any of these like any of these like they work um and i'll do health right there you see cha-ching and mana well i don't have enough for mana but i will i will soon enough and just continue to build your own castle basically like this game wants you to be building and destroying stuff so that's what you gotta do now to get into the story time i hope i said enough about this game like i'm still learning a lot of things myself oh another thing about this game basically i found out how to get these animals like i can like trap their soul and make spawner blocks out of them like it was it was i'm gonna be honest it was easier to like have like just the blocks laid out for you back then like in the past that's how it used to be like it would be like these completely different type blocks and they had like a weird face creepy face on it but now they don't exist anymore like characters just pop up out of thin air and basically what you have to do you have to create this thing called soul catcher and it's kind of like a weapon well it's considered a weapon but it doesn't really harm your subject it just traps it into like one of those boxes into one of those boxes and then you could just set the box down and you know your character will spawn <sighs> so that's one of the newer things um i do one day want to go through the this list right here at the bottom left hand side uh, corner and it's basically the recipe book and it tells you literally everything you can create literally everything that you can unlock even armor you know armor that i still yet to unlock vehicles and a lot of the time you unlock these um tools or you know characters or even plants and animals by completing the tasks that you know these characters give you <sighs> wow i never talk so much <laughs> dang <laughs> um but yeah a lot has happened since the last video and i do ch plan on changing my youtube channel entirely so that's gonna be coming up next here we go let me just fix some of these. Here's the recycler. I mean, the trash can. Here we go. And over here is just random stuff. Um, put this away. Put that away. Uh, um, no. Where does that go? Here it goes. Sorry, I'm just kind of distracted right now. Um, in this game, aside from Basil, let me put him right here. And aside from Spiral, let me put him over here. So, Spiral, Basil. Wow, Basil looks creepy as fuck. <laughs> okay, anyway, uh, Spiral, Basil, my two little pets. They're still babies. He's hungry, clearly. Like, he's telling me he wants something to eat. 
but he doesn't even eat it like when I give it to him so anyway um these guys another way uh they uh can like um fight animals it's like sharks like great white sharks they're really good at fighting and ending those guys so you know that's one way to go about it and i remember that i could like obtain two other pets why am i dying oh my god oh no i need food oh man this is pissing me off let me just use this there they are okay um and the other two pets like i don't want to spoil anything but some of the other pets i can gain in this game is the spider so soon i can like obtain a little spider and you know it'll be my pet and i don't know what i'm gonna name it and another one is a mutant dog so you know we're gonna look forward to getting a little spider and a little mutant dog soon enough i still don't know what i'm gonna name them but I'm gonna have to retrain them all over again from level zero. So let's put these guys away. <clears throat> now, in this version of the game, it's new, but everything, like, well, not everything, but this is new right here. You see how all of the sky is blue? That basically means that there's some kind of like a creature. There it is, there it is. So this Mati character, anytime the sky turns blue is because this Mati or whatever his name is m-a-t-i just like my friend from the story times uh this mati character comes to find me and kill me <laughs> so that's how this game changed ever since like out of nowhere for no reason especially when you're out here minding your own business this mati dude comes and tries to kill me there he is i hope you can see that and he's getting closer and he's looking for me and he, he's smelling me and he's eating other animals he just ate that american eagle over there he's just eating everything and trying to kill everything and it's like a ghost ghost demon whatever the fuck whatever it is like look at it like it's huge like there's no winning he can just teleport wherever the hell he wants and that's just new in this game anyway you guys um let me just get into the story time now um so uh, it was a nice beautiful day in the country of ecuador <laughs> um uh this time we're gonna be talking about again about mati so her name is m-a-t-t-y obviously that's not her real name but you know the story um mati emily i mean emmy wolf uh freak fight him <laughs> get him <laughs> Wow. This is how I train these guys. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Just so y'all know. Whoa. Mm, okay. Um, yes. Emily, Mati... And there was this other girl, we're gonna call her Penguin. I don't know why, just her name is gonna be Penguin. Um, they end up going on a trip. So, basically, um, they had a trip coming because these kids, like, they, they just had, like, a trip that they went on um, for, like, the last year, I guess, as to, like, a celebration to, like, graduate. Uh, um, hold on. Wow, no wonder. Wait a minute, what? Mm -mm. Unacceptable. There's one of those bat spawners in here. I just don't know where. I don't know where. Oh, well. Oh, well. Moving on, guys. Mm. Moving on. Um, basically, Amy Wolf, the penguin girl... 
um, there's this, you know, the girl from the last story, her name was Miss G. Um, she was, she kind of had a mental issue and that's just how it was, but she went on the trip too. There was this other girl called, what's her name? Uh, we're just gonna call her, um, huh, what can I call her? <laughs> um, let me see. We're gonna call her, um, what's that, uh, Disney princess, um, Pocahontas. <laughs> We're gonna call her Pocahontas. But let's shorten it up and call her Polka, just, just, you know. Was it Pocahontas? I don't even remember, like, the princess's name, like, I think it's Pocahontas. But y'all know what I mean, like, that one character, um... That was like in a in a indigenous type um what what do you call them native she was native indigenous natives like indian like they try to not call them indians because indians are like the people from the country of india that's not what what that is but anyway uh this is girl poku miss g emmy wolf and mati they all kind of had some kind of uh, some kind of thing against each other. So basically, this is how the story goes. Emmy Wolf and Mati, who were now like besties. Um, Y'all remember I told you that Mati was this troublemaker type girl and nobody liked her because she had done something in the past or whatever. Like literally one day it was like Valentine's Day and um, everybody, you know, had to send each other cards and shit <laughs> like everybody had to send each other like little cards and everybody had to uh tell each other like wish each other a happy valentine and and whatever you know nonsense you know that was about and emmy wolf being like the brand new girl that she was she didn't she didn't like know everybody like that but everybody knew everybody knew matty like that so this one valentine day they told every single person in that class they told hey emmy wolf so you know um just be careful about who you're friends with and who you talk to and you know like make sure you find a different friend like that's what they were telling her like emmy wolf had no idea what mati had done in the past but she just knew it was something like messed up or whatever and this is a 12 year old girl we're talking about like emmy wolf was like 12 also 11 12 one of those ages um, where are you, buddy? Help me out. Oh, wow. Nice job. Um, yeah, so they don't, they all told her not to be friends with Mati, in other words. Like, especially in that one Valentine Day, they told her, hey, uh, it's not a good idea to be friends with that girl. But, you know, Emmy Wolf didn't listen, and, you know, she was the only person she had with her. <clears throat> and everybody was telling her not to be her friend. Anyway, um, Poca, Pocahontas, <laughs> I think her name is Pocahontas, like right now, I'm not even thinking about it, it's just gonna be Pocahontas, okay, uh, Polka and, uh, Penguin Girl, they both, especially more than anybody in that class, had, <clears throat> in that classroom, they both had, like, literal, um, a vendetta against Mati, like, they both were against her so it became this one situation where it was emmy wolf and mati versus penguin girl and pocahontas <laughs> more than anyone in that class like these two girls hated each other and penguin girl was more like pocahontas sidekick and emmy wolf was more like mati sidekick you know so it was these two girls going at each other's throat like two versus two like it was it was amazing <laughs> yeah <laughs> Um, that's, you know, how it was most of the year. And Mati, even at one point, she had this one plan to, you know, catch some bees. Like, literal, real life um, bees. Like, to catch them in cups and put it into Pocahontas' backpack. And so that Pocahontas can open that backpack and, you know, she will get stung. Because there will be, like, hella angry bees in her book bag. Like, just crazy stuff. Like... Mati and Poca, Pocahontas 
they both hated each other like they hated each other and it was just this war of Mati versus Pocahontas and you know Emmy Wolf would be like the sidekick helping Mati out and Penguin Girl would be like the sidekick helping Poca out and that says you know how the story goes <laughs> um and they would constantly like bully each other most of the class would bully mati but more than anyone this one pocahontas girl she would uh bully mati more than absolutely anyone at all and mati just wanted revenge and you know that's that's the story anyway fast forward to this one time that uh the whole entire class they uh were given like that one trip to an island and that island is the island of galapagos that's right my friends emmy wolf and mati and penguin girl and miss g and what's her name pocahontas and everyone else they were given this opportunity to visit and have an entire week in the island of galapagos galapagos all to themselves you know and they would have to bring like um you know money or whatever like they didn't need a guardian specifically but some you know some of the kids did bring like a guardian or a parents <laughs> but that was their decision but they would have the teacher with them and you know they were awarded this opportunity to visit and uh, you know explore and be part of the island of galapagos as as an award for finishing the the school year or what was considered over there it was considered a middle school so graduating from middle school in other words <clears throat> so yeah um so the story goes that emmy wolf and what's her name emmy wolf and mati and um freaking uh penguin girl and miss g and all of them they go to this trip they go to galapagos and they end up having like hella fun over there like there was this one time emmy wolf was able to swim right next to uh, sea turtles and all of that good stuff just oh, an amazing trip um full of life full of wonder animals you've never seen in your entire life uh turtles all over the place like all kinds like terrestrial and then you get the sea turtle type like there's everything and there's like holes <laughs> just kidding not holes but there's meteor uh crash sites or meteor holes or whatever and it's just crazy and there's hell of volcanoes um huge open mouth type volcanoes in galapagos like it's it's unbelievable um <clears throat> anyway um in this frisky just kidding no um in this type adult type story time basically what happens is <laughs> um emmy wolf and mati they had to like they ended up like choosing to you know uh get a hotel with each other so emmy wolf didn't have a guardian but mati chose to bring her like mom as a guardian or um helper or whatever and mati's mom this woman was like the gold digging type she was like the the not so nice uh, i'm gonna use you type and she just had that look of i'm judging you no matter what you do type look so emmy wolf wasn't really a fan of mati's mom like mati's mom seriously like she looked like she was not like happy or satisfied with her life and even though she was put together she was more like more like she appeared to be conceited or self-centered or full of herself or just an angry type individual that judges you no matter what you do like you could be like the best person on earth and she you know if she doesn't approve of you then that's you know that's the type of person she was like she wasn't even in mati's life the only person who took care of mati was like her grandma it was not her mom it was not her dad just her grandma like it was not you know her mom her mom was like barely seen in mati's life um mati's dad and mati's mom were like barely barely uh, around anytime emmy wolf would visit mati to like her house she would just she would just see her grandma and her grandma was like the sweetest person on the face of the earth like her grandma was a sweetheart and then you know the father and the mother would visit which is tragic emmy wolf can't really relate that's not you know uh what she's used to i guess she, she didn't grow up like that but it was unfortunate and it was the truth like what can you do 
um but yeah in this one trip to galapagos mati's mom chose to be a part of it and she was around and like i said she was more like a narcissistic type person um judging everyone around her being all put together <laughs> and you know all she was there for was to like look and judge um moving on um one day uh well like i was saying um these guys like since sammy wolf is mati's like sidekick now or or bestie or best friend you know they chose to get like a hotel room together <clears throat> um oh i i forgot uh part of the story actually pocahontas didn't really go to the trip like she was not part of the trip um yep pocahontas uh uh what's her name penguin girl uh penguin girl's best friend didn't go so it was just penguin girl on her own and then uh miss g on her own too like miss g wasn't mati's friend anymore at the time uh, <clears throat> anyway guys like i don't do this much talking i'm sorry i do apologize Uh, um, let me just put this away I do, oh there's that Mati thing Like it's coming for us It sees us And I'm trying to put my stuff away but Yeah go down Attack all of them not me Mm-mm Mm-mm Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm he was actually fighting the wizard, but I, I didn't get to record that. Where's the wizard at? Come on, Alchemist, fight him. <laughs> he keeps coming back. The Monty dude keep, keeps coming back. Come on, man. Now he's underground. Like, how's that possible? I'm leaving. Anyway. Um, anyway, Mati and Emmy Wolf, they get a hotel room, but they decided to uh, give uh, Penguin Girl, like, the hotel room with her because, you know, there wasn't enough space or whatever else. So Penguin Girl was put into, like, a room with um, Mati and Emmy Wolf. So, yeah, it's, like, oh, also uh, Miss G. So it's Penguin Girl, Miss G, and Mati. Penguin Girl, Miss G, and Mati, they, um, they get a hotel room together, and that's how it was for most of the trip. Uh, Mati's mom, she was also inside this hotel room, so it was kind of like five people. Yeah, I think that's five people in a hotel room. Um, so, one day, <laughs> like, um, Mati was like, glad that, um, what's her name, Penguin Girl was, like, kind of on our side or how it seemed that you know the situation was going down it seemed that penguin girl had no choice but to be with um emmy wolf and mati since pocahontas wasn't in the story so um now penguin girl had like no choice but to be with them and you know be part of their group since she had no one else and basically Mati was all for that. Ma Mati, she was down to have Penguin Girl be part of them. And she was actually trying to, like, befriend her and, you know, try to bring her over to, you know, our side or the evil side or whatever kind of side you want to call it. <laughs> so, basically. Oh, no. One day, as Mati is trying to his ass to um penguin girl um you know mati is trying to like impress her and you know be all up be all up on her face and you know telling her what's up and telling her the tea and telling her all the stories she can and trying to be befriend her you know um she was kind of like leaving emmy wolf to be on her own and kind of like abandoning her what was supposed to be her best friend there which is Amy wolf and you know she was more like trying to turn penguin girl into her bestie for whatever reason or whatever plan she had um and so one of these things that um mati chose to do 
to kind of, you know, turn Penguin Girl into her friend was to, um, what she chose. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just trying to, like, like, like focus and, like, remember this story because I am trying to remember this story from, you know, from the jump. <laughs> so it is kind of, like, weird to, like, remember something while playing a game. But basically, what Mati and Penguin Girl, who were now turning into friends, like what they chose to do, or what Mati, more than anything, chose to do. Um, so, basically, Emmy Wolf and what's her name, Miss G, the, the girl who kind of had like a mental issue. Um, they came back from like a lake, from swimming in a lake, or from a beach, or whatever events they went to in this uh, Galapagos Island event. Um, or, you know, the, cause the, here's the thing, like in Galapagos, like in the trip that they had, they had hella events and they had hella like plants and places they would visit and th and sightseeing and sites they would go to. So they would go to like the beach and they would cross like from one island to another in boats and they would, they would like go to see the turtles and the seals and everything like this island offered. They had like free food and it was just like this entire thing where it, it was like planned like all of these things were like planned all along all throughout the trip and the one in control like the the leader or guide of this trip would be like their teacher who was you know their teacher from the start <laughs> so she would be the one um telling everyone hey this is what we're gonna do today or this is what we're gonna do tomorrow be awake at this time and you guys know how guides work like guides tell you oh be up at a certain time and we're gonna visit such and such <laughs> so that was how that was going so that one day they either went to like one of the lakes one of these like long forgotten lakes or they went to like the beach and or a pool there was a lot of pool action going on and uh so the when they got back to the hotel they were all wet and they were all disgusting and you know after like getting out of the hotel they would have to go to like a fancy restaurant and it would all be quick really quick like like be ready at such and such time like you need to be ready and you need to be ready and you know you know you guys know how that goes if you've ever traveled or you've been to a trip or whatever especially with guides and plans um so the way these guys uh decided to like clean themselves and shower or whatever so it was first gonna be mati and penguin girl who went into the bathtub together like they showered together i guess like they had no choice and the next ones would be emmy wolf and <clears throat> and miss g so you know uh, mati and what's her name they uh penguin girl they shower together and you know it all goes good they shower together they get out they start doing their hair and then miss g and emmy wolf they you know they go into the bathroom to basically strip naked and shower together and emmy wolf like i said she was more developed than anybody there and you know miss g also had something to say about it she's like oh emmy wolf like you got some big stuff <laughs> <laughs> Dude, like <laughs> Emmy Wolf, like couldn't really like do anything about it. She had to be all completely um, butt naked in there with Miss G. Like, what could she do? You know. <laughs> um, so she had to shower with Miss G and kind of like strip while Miss G showered, and then <clears throat> you know she was gonna shower next. So they had to like be in the bathroom naked together. They had no choice. They had no time either sorry i'm just trying to remember this you guys um where's the wizard what are my what are my tasks i don't even know what my tasks there are i was about to say what my tasks is <laughs> iron bar maybe dragon oh, oh wow sulfur i don't even know what that is what is sulfur <laughs> What is sulfur? Is this no, 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 yep. Now I know what it is. It's the yellow stuff. Now I need to go into the caves. <clears throat> so, Emmy Wolf and um, Miss G, they're in this bathroom showering and being naked and just, just, just. <laughs> 
<laughs> they were butt naked and Emmy Wolf got to see freaking Miss G and Miss G got to see Emmy Wolf. It's just crazy like that. Like that's what happened. <laughs> um all while um, Mati and Penguin Girl were just outside, you know, drying themselves and drying their hair and doing their hair because they're hot. Well, Penguin Girl wasn't, but Mati, Mati was considered hot. <clears throat> Moving on. Um, like I said, if you don't remember, Mati was there trying to bring Penguin Girl to her side or, you know, be good in Penguin Girl's eyes. So she was really trying to, like, friend her and... You know, she ended up becoming like really, really close to her during the trip and so close to her to the point that um, Emmy Wolf wasn't even that close to her anymore during the trip. So, is, am I collecting the right thing? Oh my God, that's not it. That's not it. That is not it. What? What? Uh-uh. <laughs> Uh, uh. Yo, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Oh no. Oh my god. I think I'm just gonna die. I'm not trying to make this video long either. Let me just, 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 just. I don't even have food. I don't have no food. It's over. Hey guys, so basically I had to uh, reincarnate and reload over here. So, that's what we're dealing with right now. Let me train my little pets for a moment. Get it, Spyro. Get it, Basil. Get him. Oh, now he wants to be a little puss. This is like what angers me. Like he's too fast and he's like running away. Like that's not fair, dude. He fell into the lava. Great. Anyway, here is the sulfur. This is what it looks like. And I think this is like the only one here. And I didn't collect that. I mean, the lava got to it. But whatever. This is a volcano, but I need to, like, find sulfur. Like, there's a lot of lava, and I can't fall in there, you know what I'm saying? Ooh, I can already feel the heat. Oh, no. Oh, no. You see what I'm saying? So, we're going to try not to do that. Like, I'm not trying to, like, die and relive time and time again. So, you know, and there wasn't any sulfur there anyway. So we're going to have to go to hell. Literal, real life hell. And you know how we're going to do that? By going into literal hell. Let's go to hell. Let's go to hell. Let me bring my little torch because it's too dark in there. Torch. And I have hella torches, so... I better get my torch. Torchy! I'm gonna take two. Two is enough, I believe. Mm -mm -mm. I have some food. Here we go. Everything hurts me, don't it? You see? What a whiny little coward. All right, entering into the caves of hell. <laughs> just kidding, it's just a cave right now. As of the meantime, it's just a cave. And there's the exit all the way up there. So back to the story, what was I saying? Okay, Penguin Girl and Mati, they become like like friends all over again, like besties. 
and Emmy Wolf and Miss G, they were left off to the side. So what Emmy Wolf ends up doing, she ends up becoming like friends with Miss G all throughout the trip because Mati, she just preferred Penguin Girl and she was just really taking advantage that Penguin Girl didn't have Polka, you know, Polka, Pocahontas with her. So she was just really trying to like get on her good side and trying to friend her and this and that. Yeah. So, um, you know, um, damn, you guys are just, get it, Spyro. What? What are you doing? What are you doing? Spider's right there. Oh, bad. Um, Mati, what was I saying? So yeah, um, another one. Are you serious? Get it. I'm just gonna leave him there because I'm not trying to get a surprise attack done upon me all over again. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, I already see some like lava down here. Ooh, secret tunnel type deal. Now, to find hell, what do you have to do? <laughs> Die! <laughs> um, you're just a kid. Anyway, um, mm, let's just keep going down. Down into the caves of mystery. Because we're badasses, that's why. Um, Mati and, you know, um, Penguin Girl, they end up getting along. And, you know, uh, Emmy Wolf had no choice but to be with Miss G for the remainder of the trip. Um, because Mati just decided to be on Miss uh, Penguin Girl's side. Um, so, it came to a moment where, and this is like the climax of the story. It came to a moment when, um, what I was saying that uh, Emmy Wolf and Miss G, like they had to uh, shower like last or after Penguin Girl and Mati. So, you know, they were all naked and, you know, this and that. And, um, uh-oh, I think we found it. I think we've found hell. Uh-oh. Why is there trees of fire? And pigs? <laughs> what? Got him. Anyway. Oh my god, the things we'll find down here. We found a wizard down here too. Let me train my little dragon. Wow, good job. That was pretty good. Let's find the sulfur. Let's find the sulfur. Whoa, that's the big type worm. Here it is. Oh, it's really, really strong. How did it die? <laughs> okay, let's just find the sulfur. How interesting. Any sulfur over here? Any sulfur? Dark mage. Wow, he died. Um... Mati ended up having like this one key like I don't know how she was able to get this key or have this key bar log Holy this is like that one source of life, but evil And he's level I don't know better than me. So Should I fight him should I be a warrior? <laughs> I ain't that good Yeah, that's not gonna work. I'm gonna die. The trees of fire. Uh, let me explore around here a bit. I don't remember, like, how looking like a bunch of rocks. Uh, 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 uh. What is that all the way down there? Is that like a dragon? Oh my god, that's like a dragon. What? It's the red one. 
They put him in hell? I can't believe it. He didn't used to live in hell. Just saying. The red dragon is a hell dragon now. Moving on, Mati and uh, Penguin Girl, they end up, they uh, find this key or their mom gave them this one mysterious key where basically it opened the bathroom. <laughs> so, you know, this is the climax of the story. Um, when it was, um, what you call it, her name, what's her name, uh, Miss G and Emmy Wolf's turn to uh, go to the bathroom and clean up and shower and whatever. They, um... Mati and Penguin Girl, they they decided for some odd reason to basically like to basically um open the door where where Matt where Emmy Wolf and Miss G were showering like out of nowhere they decided to catch them naked. Um Mati and Penguin Girl decided to open up the door where um where Miss G and Emmy Wolf were like butt naked and showering and all that for no reason just they just decided that it was a cool fun thing to do funny joke haha <laughs> whatever you know so that's what they did for who knows what reason right um and so <laughs> oh wow that's interesting mm -mm. Mm -mm. How interesting. Wow. So that's the story of how my best friend ended up catching me naked with the other girl of our group. Like, you know, she caught Miss G naked too. Like, Miss G was inside the water and Amy Wolf was naked waiting for Miss G to get out the water, you know? <laughs> so you know that's that's what happened and you know emmy wolf like she pushed the door closed and she yelled like emmy wolf like yelled like what the fuck are you doing miss g she yelled too like what are you doing hello and <laughs> that's kind of how that went <laughs> um and after that emmy wolf was just so done with mati like pulling in all those things like trying to do this and trying to do that and you know she ended up going to her narcissist materialistic mom saying hey dude your daughter did this and she did that and she you know she she tried to look at me naked and be like what the fuck and you know emmy wolf told on her and <laughs> after that mati was like beyond pissed like beyond angry at emmy wolf and their friendship was kind of like done for the remainder of that trip and so um, you know, that's the story of how Mati and what's her name, Penguin Girl, got to see everything. Now Penguin Girl 2 got to see, um, whoa, that's a tall one. That's a tall one. Let's get it. Well, I died. <laughs> Freaking Penguin Girl, she got to see everything. Where where am I being reborn? Home? Like, how am I gonna get there? <sighs> that is the story of how my friend exposed me in front of the penguin girl uh, to be on her good side, to look like a cool person in her eyes, to to, you know, make herself look like a cool, fun person and, you know, bring uh, Mrs. Penguin Girl onto her side. And she ended up, like, making Emmy Wolf get pissed at her. Like, what the hell, man, you know? But, you know, you guys, that's the end of the story. Penguin Girl got to see Emmy Wolf's huge jugs again. <laughs> like, this is, like, the second person that ends up getting to see Emmy Wolf's huge, gigantic jugs. Like, <laughs> oh my god, like, am I the only person this happens to? <laughs> no freaking way like not only that but you know this um penguin girl also got to see miss g like completely like naked too so you know but miss g didn't have anything <laughs> like she didn't have anything like come on man um yeah and um you know guys like i believe this is the last one of these like 
these uh, type stories that I talk about, like adult stuff, like <laughs> getting naked and like someone doing something like crazy like that. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I don't think I'm like the rest like of my life something crazy like this has happened like i don't think so i don't know but you know i'll try to come up with other stories and mainly telling like stories about dreams like crazy dreams i have um and like i said i will be changing my uh, youtube channel more like it's gonna be different from here on out as soon as i have enough time so that i could change it and you know you can check out my art channel like i'll leave a link in there and that's pretty much it. Um, if you guys want to see more gameplays like this, like just as a gameplay and not a story time, let me know so I could start like separating between gameplay and story time. But if you guys like it like this, like a story time plus gameplay, then you know that's cool too. Um, so yeah, that's that's the story of my crazy best friend. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.